I hope the audience sees how much we care. That we aren't just obsessed with our phones and boys, because it's bigger than that. It's about surviving. Like, it's about giving a planet to future generations. I just hope the audience sees that we care and that we're not dumb. Just because we're high school students doesn't mean we're any lesser than anyone else. We good? Yes, we good. Okay. Break legs, guys. Let's go. I'm Maisie Denny. I'm in grade 12 here at Western Canada High School, and I'm the stage manager of Revolutionary Slumber. Uh, Revolutionary Slumber is a show that we wrote ourselves about 11 high school students who go to a sleepover party after, you know, a regular day at school. And it's basically about how we've been forced to save the world as this new generation. They seductively wave both the impossibility of saving the world with the desire to want to try to save it anyways. It's the third show in the party series, which is a series that Miss G, our drama teacher, has been working on for her entire career at Western. And all three shows have taken place at parties, and all three shows have been written by the students who are performing and working on the show. Our program was founded by an amazing woman named Dr. Betty Mitchell. So we have a history of really amazing um, theater artists, including Michael Green, who was the founder of the High Performance Rodeo. The High Performance Rodeo is a really incredible international theater festival that takes place here in Calgary. Uh, and Blake Brooker, who had come to see um, the second part of the party trilogy and really enjoyed it and he said to me oh that show was so good it should be in the rodeo and he said it again and I said yeah that's my dream and he said that's my dream too that's so weird why do we have the same dream <laughs> and so uh, I said all right let's do it and he said yep uh, you should be in the front warm-up starts in three minutes it is like working with family um, these people are wonderful and they're all so creative and bright and brilliant and it is just a constant inspiration to come in on rehearsals and work with them every single day. It's kind of an honor really. It's a super special group and I am so honored to have worked with them for three years. This is my last year and it's <laughs> getting kind of sad but it's like I know that we'll stay in touch because this group is magic. I, I'm, I'm so humbled by them every day, and I'm so grateful for them. It's, a, it's an amazing thing to be around these people, and they're, they're, they're going to do incredible things in this world, for sure. <laughs>